your dad's obviously quite famous. Yeah. Your dad's Noel Gallagher. Um, legend. How a proper Genius. ledge. Artiste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was really easy as a child to sort of not understand like poverty. I assumed that everybody had a really nice house. I'm fully aware of how lucky I am. Like not gonna sit here and pretend that I work really hard. Like I use it to the best of my ability. And I'm like guilty of it as well. Like I'll sit there and like, you know, look at Northwest and be like, I bet she's gonna be a brat. Yeah. Whereas like, yeah. that's, that's who I am. So I right. shouldn't yeah. really think like that. What would you say you are? I remember like being crying, really upset about getting bad grades. My dad being like, look. We're know, the you... fucking Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> None of this fucking matters, mate. <laughs> I have had friends that are YouTubers. Right. And Who? Quick story, I went to his birthday party last year and I saw like Alfie Days and KSI and everyone and I was just like, you guys are all such cunts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> How are you have? fucking joking? <laughs> it was like crazy. It was like a whole wall of flashing cameras. I got in the car, they were like sticking the cameras in the car windows. Yeah. And like people kind of being like, yeah, I don't really listen to that kind of music. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. You've heard Wonderwall. Yeah, I was like, going to say, who the fuck it? hasn't heard yeah. Wonderwall? Hello, guys. How are you doing? It's me, Jack, mate. Welcome back to Jack Mate's Happy Hour. I am joined once again by my right hand man. It's Jordan. Are you all right? Good, mate. Good. Um, Good. You're looking well. Thank you. I appreciate it. You got the denim on? Yes. And I think we're going to get our guest today. I do have some fashion questions. Oh, brilliant. This is true. We've got Anais Gallagher on. Hi. I'm glad to see I, you sounded did, did that correctly. I, I pronounced we, it right, did yeah, I? Yeah, did. Practiced that before the pod. Yeah, <laughs> we went through so many different... That's what, yeah, so I just, that's literally yeah. why I just DM'd you was like, is it, is it <laughs> Anais? Do you know what? I, when you, that's exactly how I write it phonetically for people. Oh, really? People never usually, like, they'll say it in different ways or type it in different ways. I thought it was Anais. An, an, Anais. That's loads Anais. of Anais. Anais. Us like hummus. That's how yeah. I remember it. Right. Okay. That's, that, that's not my real name, actually. What? That's, that's not. not my real name. That's what I call myself. Oh, oh it's a stage what's, what's name. Actual... Well, no, my, it, it's spelt the same, but it's pronounced differently. But it's. Oh, go on. No, it's Anaïs, but it's just like the most. Anaïs. Anaïs, but it's so. Anaïs. And because it's French, Anaïs. and people are like, "Oh, are you Anaïs. French?" I'm like, "No, my parents are from Manchester." But like, they just <laughs> sounds more Spanish. They just Anaïs. gave me a. Well, it's Latin, oh. I think. Yeah, it's a, she was a goddess. Ah, oh. <laughs> but I, there's no who I'm named after. Actually, great. I'm named after the first erotic fiction writer in the 1920s. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. There we go. Fair yeah. enough. But you don't follow in them kind of footsteps. No. You actually follow in the footsteps of someone that would take good photos. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You're a photographer. For some reason, I thought fashion blogger you you, you work right. you work for a uh, yeah. a, a magazine yeah called Tatler which is a big fashion magazine okay um so we want to start today by uh asking you to uh oh. to to judge Jordan's oh. Jordan's fashion okay yeah. be be as honest and do you want me to stand up be as honest yeah, and brutal stand up. Go okay on. <laughs> Give, right, give so, us a 12. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get stuck. We'll right. So for out. anyone anyone who's listening on uh -huh. iTunes, Spotify, yada, 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 it's a, it's a denim jacket. Do you want me to yeah. describe it? Yeah. Better. Okay. If so I he's just... wearing... Yeah. Sorry. Go on. He's wearing... He's not a jacket. He's wearing a denim shirt. Oh. With a black yep. ribbed t-shirt. How is that not a jacket? Uh, it's too thin to be a jacket. Is that what defines a jacket? The no, level of thickness pop, of the pop, thread? Popper it's... buttons. Popper yeah, buttons. I think also, I, I think you'll struggle to find jackets that really have popper buttons like that. Exactly. Okay. You know? Exactly. Right. Um, it's, it's a nice, it's like, a, it's a very blue kind of shade of denim. The right. wash is nice, as people in fashion would say. Right. It's got <laughs> some, it's got a very nice stitching on the back, sort of the pointed Western style kind of vibe. And then I'm he's got really some black. Myself. Like a Western. He's got some, you can sit back down now. He's <laughs> wearing, <laughs> Sorry, I was enjoying that far know, too much. Exactly. I really was. And then he's wearing some black jeans. I think it's great. Yeah. I like that you're wearing black as a staple Thank kind of you. vibe. And then you've got a little denim on top. You know, it's, it's a good. That's cheered me right out there. <laughs> <laughs> there we Thank go. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank I, you. I do find, I find it, I, I find it strange when people can talk in depth about things that I just look at and go, T-shirt and jeans. Yeah. Do you know no, what I mean? My boyfriend's the same. That's mad. That he doesn't understand crazy. the difference of types of jeans. Like I'll go and buy some jeans and he's like, but you've got loads of jeans. And I'm like, yeah, but they're different fits. In his eyes, it's just like skinny jeans. Yeah. That's it. But mm. I like have a 
a massive sort of hatred towards skinny jeans. So I'm like, oh. uh, the Antichrist. Are they skinny? Are they, uh, they are skinny, but uh, yeah. I actually don't I mind skinny jeans on boys. I just don't like skinny oh, jeans. Oh, right. Personally. And what are we, we were in, we were walking through Top Man there. What were they called? Spray on. Yes, spray, spray on, on skinny. Like, like, classic Top Man. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. I've Is been that there. like skinnier than skinnier? Yeah. I've, I've been That's there. That's like what, on, spray ons. Yeah. Fiona Jeez. fucking hated it. So I stopped. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Because I, I ain't got bad Wise. calves either. Oh, yeah. So spray on looked Put weird. It looked like when you, you know, when you like try and, like we've all done this, <laughs> like you try and squeeze a sausage out of its skin. God. Do you know what I mean? And then it's I all did. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the yeah. reference because I've ever done it myself. <laughs> but I'm trying to picture, I'm trying to be polite. I have no <laughs> yeah. fucking idea what he's talking about. I'm like, yeah, of course, you know, when we do that all the time. I'm, I'm literally from a council estate. We all do that round there. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of fun you have to get up to. <laughs> That's, so, right. So, you're, you're uh, studying to be a photographer. Yeah. yeah. Um, so for people out there that don't know, I'm, I'm not going to delve into it straight away, but your dad's obviously quite famous. Yeah. Your dad's Noel Gallagher. Um, Legend. How proper Genius. ledge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how come you didn't follow in his footsteps and pursue music? Um, mainly for the um, happiness of the rest of the world because I'm terrible. What, I, singing? Oh. Yeah, singing. I've played every instrument under the sun because I sort of, as a kid, I felt like I needed to be musical. Right. And yeah. they were all so bad. And I think my music teachers came home and they were like, she just needs to stop. <laughs> really? <laughs> she needs to stop. But I was like, no, but I'm going to be a musician. And then, no, so never your, work. So your, your parents didn't want you to pursue that then? No, I think, I think they would have been happy with whatever I chose to do. But I think, no, I don't think they would have wanted me to do music, mainly because, like, they know what it's like. And, yeah. like, it's just... Especially being, like, my dad, he's yeah. a harsh critic. Is yeah. he? Yeah. I mean, he hates everyone, basically. <laughs> unless they're amazing. <laughs> yeah, they so, right. like, I think he... And he wouldn't hold back. Right. So I think it would be difficult for him to, like, show support in an area that he knows so much about. Right. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. What what kind of music are you into? The same music as my dad. Like, you know, the I love my dad's music, kind of like, you know, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Smiths, yeah. the Stone Roses, anything could really sound like I'm listening to people from Manchester now. So <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, not yeah. what's on the top charts. Right, fair. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, I'm you're, with you on that. You're not, are you from, you're not from Manchester, No, I'm not. I was born in London. Right. Born and raised her. You got a very different accent. Very different to my dad. Yeah. Ha different to the rest of my family, and I'm taking the piss out of all the time. Do, what if he had his way? Would you be like a proper man? No, I don't think I would. I think he enjoys that I am very well spoken. You do I speak think, the Queen's English, don't I know. you? I think he's happy that his uh, school fees went somewhere. It's like, oh, well, she, <laughs> she sounds like she got a good education. <laughs> but I think, I think. You know, there was like when I was younger, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go have a bath. And he'd be like, no, you're not. You're going to have a bath. And I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> sort of re speak differently. But it's because yeah. it's weird. I did a, a dialect test the other day. Have you? Did you see that? It was like going around on the internet. It was like it asked you loads of different questions. Oh, what? Like how you. Uh, how you. Is do, it bath or bath? Yeah, yeah. Like loads of different ones like that. And it worked out that the like lingo I use is from Manchester and Norwich, because my mum grew up in Norwich. Oh, I didn't know she, that. And uh, she was, where she went to college. She didn't grow up in Norwich. She grew up on the outskirts. Right. UEA, and, uh, represent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And right. she, but then the way I pronounced stuff was like from England. So I think they were very confused. They're like, you say northern words, but your accent is from down south. But it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, because of course. You're around yeah. your parents. Yeah, is it fair. So so you, what's your what's your day-to-day -day like when you're not, at uni what what do you fill it with taking pictures i have just i just got back from japan i was on tour with my dad that's why i was there oh right for like a week i was his he's like his main tour photographer like dropped out so like or couldn't come so i had to go for the week and take photos you say, you say i had to go as if oh, yeah, such I a know, burden God. well actually <laughs> do you know what it was so brutal his like uh regime like his day-to-day -day life that i was like wow like i'd always just thought he kind of like went on holiday ate the national cuisine and then just like had a little sing song and then like <laughs> but it wasn't like that at all it was like up in the morning interviews like to the venue sound check it was like every morning getting up like really early going to bed really late i was like oh i actually like what is that the wow. first time that you've kind of experienced that well no i've been on tour with him before but like never in a capacity where i work. had to be there like i could if he was let's say leaving to go 
to do an interview and then I could like kind of get out of bed at 11 and then meet him somewhere but I had to be there to take the pictures so I had to like follow him everywhere so I was like wow he's doing a lot of work so were you taking pictures consistently throughout the day yeah so not just for the actual performances no no so I was taking because they wanted like for his like social media they wanted like behind the scenes pictures that's right but is that your is is that your dream is that yeah that kind of thing yeah kind of like doing band photography or like behind the scenes stuff right is what fair. i want to do so you could essentially just work for your dad full yeah time. i could i mean do you know what this is the thing that like i think sets me apart from other kids of famous people is like i'm fully aware of how lucky i am right. and i've like yeah. can get my door in so many places because of my dad and i'm like not gonna sit here and pretend that i work really hard like i use it to the best of my ability yeah. So if I can take photos of bands because my dad's a really prominent, then why wouldn't I? Yeah, exactly. You know? That's pretty uh, yeah. admirable to say, yeah. to be yeah. fair. Because um, we had like <clears throat> we had somebody on the pod um, a few months ago, I think just before you joined, just wasn't it? Yeah. Um, a guy called Bobby Misner. And I watched it. Yeah, and he, he I don't think, because like what you just said, I think... There was, I've got a lot of questions down here. Yeah, like, yeah. does 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 like has the money changed? Blah blah yeah, yeah, blah. Yeah. With Bobby, it mm-hmm. clearly had. Like, because it was yeah. only until he got to about fifteen that he came into money. Yeah, of course. And then I saw that, and you could tell there was that big contrast in his life. Whereas you've kind of always had that. Yeah. So it's a bit of. I don't really know how to put the question, but do you think that that the upbringing you've had mm-hmm. had? It's it's almost a silly question, but yeah. has changed your. Your, your outlook on things. Yeah, 100%. I think it was really easy as a child to sort of not understand like poverty and that people actually had to go through struggle because I assumed that everybody had a really nice house and really? could get what they wanted. I mean, I'm talking six or seven, but I didn't, I was confused at the fact that that just wasn't normal life. And like they couldn't just like, for example, I was a really massive Harry Potter fan when I was growing up. I was confused that a kid couldn't just go to the set of Harry Potter because they were a big fan, you know, like, Mm. but as I grew up, luckily for me, my parents came from really like working class backgrounds. So they kind of drilled into me that that's not normal. My grandma still lives in the same house that my dad was grew up in in Manchester really? she's never left so like I would still go and like stay at her house which is like on a council estate in Man- Manchester so I kind of like they'd kind of drilled into me from like a young age like you're really lucky and it was like they tried to which is so hard to explain to somebody that you're special but you're not better than anybody else like you can get stuff that other people can't get but that doesn't mean that you mean anything more than them Wow. So I think, and also I watched that that the Bobby video, and yeah. he was like said he was went to this like really posh boarding school or whatever. Yeah. Like I know that boarding school, and I went to an equally posh boarding school, and it didn't make me any different. He was like, yeah, like all the people, like I felt like I needed to compete. I was like, no, I went to a school like that, <laughs> I went to a posh boarding school, and I lit- I haven't turned out like that at all. So yeah. Yeah. maybe it's just a twat. <laughs> literally, literally. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna use that in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's it's great because I, I mean I met you five minutes before mm. doing this and you can already tell that you're aware of the privileged position mm. but you're still humble enough to know that you're yeah. you're, you're lucky enough to yeah. do that uh, and it kind of seems like you've gone the reverse of Bobby where he's gone he, he's he's been for lack of a better term mm. normal yeah. and then he's got the money and then he's turned mm-hmm. into a prick perhaps just because <laughs> of your I'm not saying you were yeah, a prick yeah, yeah, you know. but because of your your upbringing mm-hmm. you 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 took it for granted and then when you got to an age to realise you were mm-hmm. like oh actually yeah. this is this is how it is and you had to level out and clearly that's testament to your parents and 100%. their parents that's what I was going to yeah. say yeah. Um, I, I don't really n- know much about your mum yeah. I can't claim to know much about your dad but yeah, obviously yeah, he's yeah. fucking no um, so yeah. but with I think that's testament like you just said to reiterate yeah. you, you, your dad is no matter how much money he, he has yeah. and the success he has he is still very much a normal yeah a normal bloke. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas Prince Harry's kid. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> I know yeah. it's just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a cunt. Exactly. 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 One day. Because babies <laughs> can't be Jack. One day. I know I've met some kids that are pretty much cunt <laughs> oh, already, you know. Oh, really? <laughs> what ones are like two weeks old? Yeah. Well, you don't know oh, look at the way look. the prick dribbles. Oh, so entitled. <laughs> they give you that look. <laughs> yeah, they're just like... You know when you've always just kind of open one eye and you, you know they're judging you and you're just like, shut up, you can't even move. <laughs> it's literally a potato just yeah. fucking laying there gonna... judging you. <laughs> I'm going to go at a baby. <laughs> you can't even move. Just when the parents are just telling you, you're just like, fuck off. 
You know, like, you know, when you know, I went to go meet somebody's newborn baby the other day. Right. Oh, and you know, like, when they hold the baby and the baby's really happy, then they hand it over to you and you're like, oh, I don't really want to hold it. And then they just kind of make you hold it because you feel bad. Yeah. So then you hold the baby and then it starts crying. And you're like, you can't see. How do you know that it's someone different? Why are you judging me? <laughs> I don't think the baby's specifically crying because it's you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I took oh, it very personally. Was, oh, wow. How did you get on with criticism on the internet? Uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. um, how, how um, growing up, I think, so you, you went to private school, yeah? yeah. So the, the people around you obviously mm-hmm. knew your surname. Yes. Did that change people's per- perception of you? Well, I mean, no, because I went to school with Brooklyn Beckham, so I think he was like uh, the main idol of everybody, sort of like. Oh, really? So I think I kind of was able to ride under the bus of he's Beckham's kid, you know. So I didn't get that much attention, but I also didn't like drive my sports car to school, so I was, oh, wow. you know what I mean. Yeah. I kind of knew that there was like a, a boundary, but I think going to school with kids. Um, I think what's different is, and what people don't talk about, is money is really different to fame. Very different. Because you can, like, a lot of... I went to school with a lot of people who had really rich parents, but they were, like, bankers or, like, Mm. you know, CEOs. And my dad, you know, is very different to that. So I think it was, like, they came from a more, sort of, like, old money, privileged sort of, like, background. Whereas my dad came from a, like... He was in a certain, you know social situation and he had a talent and then he kind of like was really still amazed by what he got he didn't pursue it Mm. to get money so I think I kind of was at a different made me a little bit different to my friends who had money right that's really interesting do do you like the idea of fame um I think it's weird because I don't really know any different like I mean there were photographers and paparazzi and news people like when I was born there was like a BBC news person outside the hospital being like no Gallic's baby born you know she's seven pounds you know what I mean like I've actually mm. never had a day off so right. like I yeah. don't really know what it's like yeah. to not have it I don't think the idea of fame scares me and I'm also not going to sit here and be one of those people that's like oh my god fame it's so hard mm. people are taking photos of me when I'm walking my dog it's like get over yourself they're taking pictures of you walking your dog yeah. people have to do a nine to five like yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. annoying uh, when you like, uh, when I'm like, you know, walking to college and I look disgusting, and then there's photos of me. But like at the same time, it's like it's really no skin off of my back. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Also, Fair. you've got to think that like, that's a journalist. That's their job. They're making money. Yeah. Like, yeah. Leave it. You For know? sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Fair. I think it's difficult because especially being young, like when I was like 13, 14, like I'm a young girl, like coming into my own. I think it's then it's difficult because like people are having opinions, mm. being like, oh, she's such a brat. She's so entitled. Fair enough, I probably would think I am too. And I'm like guilty of it as well. Like I'll sit there and like, you know, look at Northwest and be like, I bet she's going to be a brat. <laughs> yeah. Whereas like, yeah. that's, that's who I am. So right. I shouldn't yeah. really think like that. What but would you say you are? I think I'm spoiled, but I don't think I'm a spoiled person. Right. There's a massive difference though, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, like I don't struggle, you know, mm, anything yeah. I want I could have. Mm but I'm grateful for it yeah. and I know that and I even limit myself if that makes sense. Like let's say for example if I wanted a new laptop I wouldn't just be like parents I need a new laptop I would like wait for Christmas right. and then be like mm. can I have a new laptop? I don't I also don't want to take the piss out of them. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't want to sit there and be like just because you've got money I'm going to rinse you yeah. because that's not my money I didn't work for it. Mm. Yeah. I'm not going to just sit here and ride your like you know yeah. train. Yeah. Fair. What, that's what, what very do, admirable. Yeah. What does what does your mum do? Or what did she my do? Mom, my mum uh, owns a cosmetic company and like um, vitamins and that sort of thing. It's like salt and boots and super drug. Oh, wow. But that's only in the last three years. So oh. she's just like now become a businesswoman. But before that, she did loads of things like, you know, uh, modelling and like basically being a socialite. Really? <laughs> she, <hates Okay>. that. <laughs> <laughs> she is just a socialite. But it's great now that she's actually a businesswoman. No, that's yeah. crazy. Uh, it's, it's probably why... You seem to have you. You seem to be quite switched on, knowing what mm. you want to do in your own in your own yeah. field. You're not just going, "Well, Dad done that. I'm going to do that, that, yeah. or I'm going to ride that." So maybe that's a bit of your, of your mum in you, and yeah. and then your dad's instilled that you, that work ethic and yeah. stuff like that. Does he? Does he? Does he teach you to work hard? Is that is that is that an important thing or not so I much? Think, I think he doesn't. I think he teaches me to like do the best I can. Mm. Like always, like growing up through school. It was never like you have to get certain grades and like, 
you know like I failed my GCSEs and my A levels and my like dad was never like oh you have to do this but he was just like I remember like being crying really upset about getting bad grades my dad being like look we're the fucking Gallagher's (laughs) none of this fucking matters mate he was just like he was like look you worked hard you know like that's all that matters like you know I think my parents also knew probably from the moment I was born I wasn't going to be a doctor or a lawyer I think it'd be pretty impossible for me to do that right so I think also we're not blessed with the most intelligent genes it's very creative ones (laughs) so I think they knew that wasn't going to happen so I think they were just kind of very prepared to like do your best at what you can do try hard and my dad has always said and I like say it as well as like I can get probably get an interview and my foot in the door anywhere in the world off of my dad's name but I'm probably only going to secure that job or keep that job because of me if you're good at it yeah Yeah. I can get in front of anybody's face for five minutes but Mm. like I have to talk to them and show them what I can do in order to get the job right so I think I know that so I know I have to work hard because I'm going to get a job very easily because of who I am but critics on the internet are going to be 10 times harder to be like, you only did that because of your dad. Yeah, yeah that's that's kind of an angle that I don't think many people will will appreciate because I think before coming in today, anyone, anyone that's going to, going to meet you and myself included, they're going to have kind of like these preconceived mm-hmm. ideas of how you're going to be, many of which you've already kind of hit on. Yeah. And you're instantly... You, you're not you're the opposite mm. of how how that how how you would be perceived by by me and others um and you, you seem very much like kind of my kind of person yeah. like the the way in which you're 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 very self-deprecating as well which i like <laughs> yes. and yeah. and um and you you actually i think you tweeted me a couple of months ago and yeah. said you like the podcast yeah. and stuff and i can see why yeah, like already absolutely. i can see yeah. why because of the way in which even in and i mean we're, we're worlds apart in terms of, of fame success yeah, and yeah. money but i've i've had a taste of it myself from yeah, yeah. from what i've done and from what i've done and 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 like your parents i've come from kind of nothing yeah. and i love how you don't take it for granted because that it, that and anti- that that what's the word that kind of sums up mm. the reasons why i hate what yeah. the youtubers yeah. because they they get this they get the money they get the fame and they run with it and they believe their own yeah, hype also i think like i've have had friends that are youtubers right and who uh like uh casper lee be a very good friend of mine okay but i like used to not really friends with them anymore it's just like not really my kind of right. friendship group right but right. i like do you know quick story i went to his birthday party last year and i saw like alfie days and ksi and everyone and i was just like you guys are all such cunts <laughs> <laughs> like they were just like totally not my vibe <laughs> yeah. do, do you want to be a permanent co-host though? <laughs> I was gonna say, we currently have a slot um. <laughs> i was just like like lovely people um, but just really sort of like Almost like they're glazed over. I was just was like, there's not really anything like going on with you. There, there is a bubble around a lot of them. <laughs> there, there is, there, and also, like, still, I'm not I'm really, like, I'm not really like that. clued up, right, with mm. like YouTubers. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I don't watch YouTube. I fucking love watching YouTube, but like some certain YouTubers, I don't really like know. Mm. So I was like sat having dinner, we well, like at the pub actually with my friend Scarlett as well, and we were all like with a group of people, and there was this guy that was there, and he was like talking about all this shit he'd done, and I was thinking, what a dickhead, what a dickhead. And then he was like vlogging and I was just like twat. And then like, I was like, <laughs> and then he in, and then somebody sent me, like I went home and then like a couple, like two days later or something, somebody sent me like three, like a 30 second clip off this guy called like Tom Syndicate. That was who it was. Oh, oh fucking his hell. His vlog. And it was me saying, has anybody ever told you that you're really weird? And then walking off. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't realize this person was a good, genuine like thing. <laughs> just me being mean to him and then walking off the camera. And he's just like, and then he says something like, yeah, being weird is better than being normal. And I'm just like, mm. it's like outside of McDonald's, me just completely <laughs> roasting him. And I'm not so bad. Hell. Wow. Jesus. Fucking hell. Tom Syndicate. Tom Syndicate. Right. That, this that, is... that, that is pro syndicate, isn't it? The same guy? Yeah. Yeah. So the guy that, you know, got fucked over a load of kids <laughs> for gambling. <laughs> I was oh, I judging heard about you. This. I heard this on your podcast. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. We were talking about it. Can we talk about that? We can get sued, are we? I think you just have to say allegedly, uh, allegedly, alleg- allegedly, possibly, alleged- maybe. Yeah, well, allegedly. He allegedly was telling some stories that were really awful as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just, you know what I mean? Just like kind of just like really bragging about stuff. Right. And wow. also, this is what I wanted to say about YouTubers and like influencers is that like following count and like the amount of money you're making actually doesn't sum up how famous you are 
Do you know Absolutely. what I mean? Right. And it really annoys me because people be like, I've got like 5.4 million followers on Instagram. I'm like, my dad's got 500K. Yeah. He's still yeah. better than you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and that really annoys 100%. me yeah. that people yeah. actually think follow account is like... Doesn't mean fuck all. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean fuck all. And yeah. I think the way in which you can sum that up is, you, do you remember Salt Bay? Mm. The guy that puts the... Have you seen how many t- Instagram followers he's got? No. I'm going to have to get it. Uh, have you got your phone on yet? No, I left, just in case it wrong. I was Fuck trying to be polite. Oh, I'll, we appreciate that. Thank you very right, much. Right, have a guess. Have a guess. Um, You've shown me, but I cannot remember. Right. Like, a, like a million. Right. Would that impress you? Well, yeah. I mean, I've only got 160k, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right. Oh, it's like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> How are you have? fucking joking? <laughs> Show me. See, but he does this and gets that much once. followers. No, he did that once. <laughs> is what once. he did. Should I just say it? Show it. Once and no, got... Just show me, show me. Once show... Okay, yeah. okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. 21.8 million. <laughs> Just Literally him just pouring salt on shit, I think. Oh, God. Yeah, no, he's got a restaurant in Dubai. Yeah. Uh, I've seen that. Well, you've been there? No. <laughs> that is outrageous. I'm trying to find the original I say that, photo. but I would go if I was in <laughs> <Yeah>. Dubai. <laughs> 21.8 million. What, going back to YouTube quickly, oh, what, yeah. what, what YouTubers um, do you enjoy? Okay, so I really like you. Thank you. Because I don't know how I saw your video, but I remember watching the first one I watched was probably you being rude about Alfie Days, probably. <laughs> And I watched it's that and I was point. like, oh, he's funny. Because I didn't, hadn't actually seen any YouTubers that were like my kind of sense of humour. I right. hadn't seen it. Yeah. It was just all sort of like run of the mill YouTube shit. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is really funny. So I watched more. And then other, I mean, I mean, I could sit here and pretend I don't watch people like, you know, um, James Charles yeah. and like the Paul brothers, you know, yeah. because everybody does. Yeah. Like you can say that you don't, but you do. Yeah. I think that's the thing with like YouTube, like it's junk food, isn't it? Yeah. It's like shit for you. It's not making you a smart person. No. But you're addicted. Yeah. Like I still like wake up in the morning and watch YouTube videos. Unless you watch like Vsauce or some or some educational channel. Yeah, but I think I started watching YouTube when I didn't watch YouTube when people were watching videos specifically for lighting liking certain creators or like wanted to like watch a video and something so then they typed it in i only started watching youtube when people that i knew were like talking it, when it suddenly the whole sort of platform became a reality tv show yeah. like everybody knew each other and everybody was making videos on like different sides of stories yeah. and like there was like vloggers who would vlog something and then somebody was that the same day and was like vlogging their perspective and it suddenly became like netflix yeah and you like watch this like real time sort of like world unraveling then i was like this is so interesting and so soul destroying that you get sucked into like yeah. watching somebody's video and feeling so invested mm. by them. I was like, so that's when I started watching it. Have, yeah. how, how old are you? Sorry. 19. 19. Oh, okay. So, so who were the first YouTubers you think you, you started to watch? I think, I mean, I think when I was, I don't, I can't even remember because I've never, I kind of tried to stay away from youtube not even because i wanted to but because i thought that was cool right i was like yeah i don't watch youtube videos when all my friends were like watching you know makeup tutorials i was like no yeah and then i I actually only started watching youtube videos when the like paul brothers like blew up and everybody's like you have to watch these american idiots Mm. and i was like okay and then i suddenly was subscribed to both of them (laughs) watching them every single day yeah so i think i didn't really watch youtube growing up i wasn't that interested in it i think i sort of they were also, I didn't really find any, I didn't ever, maybe I didn't see any English people on there. Maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough, but like mm. all the American people I couldn't really relate to. I didn't really like find it interesting as a 12 year old. I was like, oh, it's boring. Yeah. yeah. And also back then it was kind of people doing like lots of like skits and stuff. Yeah. Right. Like being like, like doing little funny things. And that wasn't really my vibe. Vine. You remember Vine? Oh, yeah. Fuck me. Absolute AIDS of the internet. That's how Logan Paul yeah. came about. Yeah. No, it was, it? wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Fucking Vine. Brother. H- have, you, have you never thought of doing it yourself. YouTube. Yeah, yeah I have. Like you loads ha- of times. Well, you have done YouTube no, or you I thought about it. I've thought about it. And then I'm like, I just, I, I, I respect you guys so much because it's so much work and I couldn't do it. Really? Yeah, I couldn't do it. And I wouldn't want to be somebody that went straight into my first video and like got an editor and a production team, yeah. you know, because that would like be what I don't believe in in life. I wouldn't want to go into a platform, start at the bottom and act like I'm at the top and like get loads of people to work for me. I'd want to do it myself just so yeah. I can like work my way up. Right. But I couldn't do that on myself. Yeah. Like at all. I just don't have, I just don't have the like 
it, patience. It's weird because YouTube, what well, I think the reason why YouTube was so successful is because it was this amateur thing of yeah. anyone's doing it. Yeah. So all these YouTubers were like the person next door. So yeah, exactly. a lot of the younger audience thought, oh, they're my friend and, and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. which has obviously got a bit dangerous now. But um, because everyone's doing it, everyone's yeah. trying to up the production value, up the, like, yeah, and yeah, get yeah, all yeah, these yeah. cameras, editors, green screens, all this yeah. nice shit. And then sooner or later, we're just you're gonna have the best presenters rise to the top. We'll the Casey Nace, that yeah. filmmakers, yeah. we're just gonna be TV. Yeah, or Netflix. Yeah, or, it's literally yeah. just TV, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. Then, and then that and then that takes away some of that sort of real. Well, it's gen- already been like that. Now, what are they like? Probably like top ten best creators in the world, and they're like the majority of the views on YouTube go to them alone. Yeah, and then like everybody else is kind of like lost underneath. Yeah, which yeah. is what it was meant to be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then to to contradict that yeah. point. Mr. Beast, I don't know if you know much about no. Mr. Beast. He he's getting what's he getting now? Like twenty Disgusting million a video, views, twenty and, to thirty mil. And they are the most amateur, it, yeah. with, with the greatest respects to him because I quite like his content. But yeah. they, like we said in the previous episode, like they are the they they look and feel amateur. Yeah, they've obviously got huge budgets behind yeah. them, but they do look and feel amateur. And I think you've I I, I sort of um, take my hat off to anyone that that can keep that feel mm. and still get eyes on you because yeah. now it's all about. How good's your camera? How good's this? How's good yeah. that? When really it's about the the personality. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. If you if you went into YouTube, if you yeah. ever did venture, would it be fashion videos or? No, I think I would just vlog. Really? I think yeah. my life's quite interesting. For sure. Yeah. But then I also yeah. wouldn't want to do it because about a million people come and be like, get your dad in, get your dad in. And I you wouldn't. See your dad. Yeah. No, I mean I would if he was like in my life and I like was like you know, going to my front room and he was in there, but I wouldn't like put him in front of the camera. Yeah, right. Draft because like one like. This is what I find really funny is that people forget that like I'm a teenage girl. What teenage girls are, like Wants talking to... about their dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. me, he's my dad. I'm like, I don't want to talk about my dad. Yeah. But like, I don't mind it. That's the thing. Is also I'm not. I understand that human beings are curious, mm-hmm. and it's so interesting. My life, I know that, so I don't mind asking questions, answering questions. Like that is a hundred percent fine. But it's like. I don't want to sit there and constantly talk about him because it's like he's my dad. It's boring yeah. to me. Yeah, that was literally something I had later on. I was going to say, do, does he does he do any normal dad stuff that just cringes you the fuck out? Um, do you know what? I'm quite lucky because my dad's really cool, <laughs> yeah. so he doesn't actually cringe me out. Like yeah. I'm not. I'm so immensely proud of him, and he's actually a really cool guy. So yeah. uh, like, we, you know, like it's uh, mm. it's fine. He doesn't cringe me out, but I just think it's like I wouldn't want to sit and like have to like I wouldn't want to do like. It would get so many fucking views, and I should do it, but like a and A with my dad, you know? Yeah. Like me and him sat on like a sofa, yeah, with like some yeah. candles burning in the background, like Zoella, like, yeah. oh, this is my dad. What are you gonna wear for autumn, dad? Yeah. You know, like, yeah. no. Yeah. He also probably wouldn't do it. Really? Yeah. No, I don't think he would. I don't think no. he would. Fair. Fair. That's quality. I think my dad's fairly cool as well. Yeah. Like, I don't think yeah. he, he's not. A t- he's he's like one of my best mates, really. Yeah. He's, yeah. Not, he's not really like my dad, mm. and uh, but uh, and he's quite young. I think he had me when I was. 20 or something like that so he's yeah. fairly young and i remember the first time i thought yeah you are showing your age a bit now we got in a we got in a, in an uber yeah and uh i went to get out and my dad went how much are you mate and i Aww. went i went now nah, that's right dad and he was like what i went i've already paid he went you ain't giving me anything <laughs> went, I'll, just get I'll tell you later dad. <laughs> right oh, uh, there we go sweet. i think we'll go for an ad break there and when yeah. we come back we'll be speaking about a, a lot more and um to caveat what you just said there's a lot of there's a lot of questions about your dad so uh all right i'm ready <laughs> come back after this hello guys it's me jack welcome back to jack makes happy hour podcast i am still here with jordan and anais I, i'm still nervous i'm gonna get that wrong even though uh but um, I, I, we we learned all about the names, so it would be even more embarrassing yeah, if I did. My boyfriend got it wrong for like the first three months we were together. Really? Yeah, wow. He didn't actually say it. I realised he didn't say it for like our first three dates because he was so nervous. He'd be like, "Hey, you, do you want a drink?" <laughs> no. He was just way too nervous to say it. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> there was a guy um, that that I knew from back home. Oh, I can't remember how I knew him. I don't know if he was a foot football mate or something yeah. i can't remember but um i'd saved him in my whatsapp as yeah. like football mate or something yeah, and then like f- it was like way too long like, it was yeah. like three months later when he came to the pub and then all my other mates were there and i was like all right guys this is blah 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 and this is um, my mate <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i was just like i should really know by yeah, now yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> sake. what's um is your life very rock and roll then i think so yeah. i mean yes and no like i've really like 
interesting life. I get to go away with my dad and like go to loads of gigs and festivals mm. and whatever. And like I, you know, live in a nice house and like do cool things that other people wouldn't be able to do. But all my friends that I surround myself with are like, you know, normal people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've always yeah. been that person. I've always surrounded myself with people that don't come from the same background as me. Yeah. Like uh, my boyfriend, he's like really normal. Right. And like I've come like tried to like surround myself with people like that. So what does he do? He makes like films. Okay. He's, like, he's a DP, so he's a cameraman. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but th- he like not he like is from Northampton. He like moved to London like last year to like pursue his dream. Fair. Cool. So like he's That's like really starting cool. out. But what, he um. What was? It's just because I I recently yeah. watched a clip of um Danny Dyer, yeah. the girl, um uh-huh. saying about when sh- her boyfriend met yeah. Danny Dyer, the yeah, dad. Yeah. What was it like? bringing your what's your boyfriend's name sorry Kit. what was it like bringing kit back to meet your dad for the first time it well i mean it, my boyfriend is 10 years older than me so that right. was also oh, like okay. a thing that he was like yeah. my, my dad was like oh <laughs> <laughs> but i think my dad tried to like play it down i don't think he was my dad's very sort of like just like my dad was like hi nice to meet you like shook his hand yeah and yeah. then my boyfriend claims that he like pulled a face at me but i don't think my dad did pull a face at me apparently my dad was like hmm. But I was like, I, yeah. I don't remember that happening. Yeah. But um, was Kit nervous? Yeah, he was shitting himself. Because <laughs> he, he in, in the way on the car there, yeah. he was like, he was like, not only is your dad not Gallagher, but I'm also like, he's also my boyfriend, like my girlfriend's dad. So that's like, you're shitting yourself anyway. Yeah, no, I'm not. And I, I, and he knows that my dad can be like a bit of a cunt. So yeah. he was like, this is like too much going on for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. At yeah. The same yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not laughing at the fact that he's ner- that he was nervous because I would be fucking nervous. But I'm laughing at the fact that you just don't hold any punches. You're like, yeah, he's fucking shitting himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he was. And I like in the car, and I think I was nervous as well because I was like vibing off of his nerves. And I was like, oh god, you're making me nervous. It's like I've met my dad. Like, <laughs> like, I feel like he'd be like, hi, nice to meet you. Before yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. But he played it cool. Like I've got two younger brothers, so he like went straight and like, I just want to go play football in the garden. And I was like, right, yeah. Right. You've, you've what you've sussed that one out. Yeah. And then like played Fortnite with them. How how old are yeah. your brothers? They're eleven and eight. Are they? Or nine. Are they? Yeah, yeah, you know when they're that age and you've like they have got like they have a birthday every like two weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> What's the most rock and roll thing you've ever done? Probably go on tour with my dad. Probably right. that's probably the most rock and roll thing that I've ever pretty, done. It's pretty up there, isn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want you to delve into it. So but... I went. So not the one they just went on, but I went on tour with my dad in Europe last year, and that was like classic what you would imagine on a tour bus driving to a new country every day. And I was like. This is fun. Yeah, and I wasn't yeah. actually working on that one. So I was like, you know, sleeping in. But I remember I got on the bus and like, I'm so disgustingly messy. Right. And I remember I like got on the bus with my suitcase and my dad was like, right, you're not making this messy. If you make this messy, you're going home. And I was right. like, okay. <laughs> I would like, I'd like put everything really neatly really? in like my bunk, like I, trying to make it really like tidy. I, I imagine <laughs> that, that y- your dad's mellowed out a bit now, no? Yeah. Yeah, he has. So, so w- when you say, obviously touring with Noel Gallagher is still fucking rock and roll, but like, yeah. what are the, what are like, what are the parties like? What like, what's it like being around that now? I think you must meet some cool people. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. I think I find that question so hard. People are always say like to me, "Who's the like most famous person you've met?" And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, mm. like I've met loads of people like briefly and like just because they're friends with my dad and things, and um. And that was weird also growing up because I'd be like, the people would be like, be like really obsessed with people. And then I'd be like, wait, yeah. like, my dad's friend. Like, yeah, you really no, can't yeah, understand it. Yeah, absolutely. But I think, yeah, he obviously is mellowed out. He's also my dad. So like going on tour with my dad, he's not like, yeah, let's have a mad one tonight. He's like, yeah. make sure you get an early night. You yeah. know, yeah, like yeah, eat your yeah, vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's like different people are like, oh my God, it must've been crazy. And I'm like, well, he was like, a dad on tour with his daughter he wasn't yeah, like making yeah. sure like we were in Prague one night and my dad didn't you know the Blossoms yeah they're yeah. like my really good friends and they were touring with my dad they were his support oh, right. band so I would like I had friends with me there anyway yeah. but I was like gonna go meet them one night and my dad was like we like stressing out that I was like gonna like do a 20 minute walk in the city alone my dad was like you make sure there's people with you and like getting really stressed out and I was like the amount of stuff you must have done in your <laughs> yeah, life and yeah. you're getting stressed about me doing a walk <laughs> yeah. in a European city and my dad's like Prague there's so many stag dudes here and I'm like what what <laughs> no, I'm not gonna like avoid oh my god a group of men no like, <laughs> 
you uh right, so. you alluded to like y- your dad's sort of like naughtiness as a, mm. as a as a youngster yeah. do you ever worry that that kind of like i mean he's just young having fun and yeah. everyone's been sure. there yeah. and we're not going to go yeah. into the details of uh-huh. it but do you ever wonder that because you're the spawn of him mm-hmm. that people are going to think that since like that's yeah. you that's your lifestyle you must do those things 100 i've had so many i've like not got like uh, apartments that I've like tried to rent because people are like clearly the landlords think that I'm going to be like having throwing, bad ones throwing every tellies night. Out of the, yeah, exactly. Out the so like I've had people do that. My boyfriend's family were like re- like genuinely were like to him, is she like does she drink a lot and does she do drugs? <laughs> I mean he was like no, she doesn't. But I think they just assume that I'm going to be crazy. Yeah. I don't drink, right? Which is also freaks people out as well. Yeah, I don't really drink. I like don't party that much, but I think it's because I've had parents that are like crazy. Yeah. So mm. it's kind of made me like a bit mellow. I've like rebelled yeah. in the opposite way. Right. I'm like, I don't want to be part of that. Yeah. yeah. So I think, I think people do, people also assume that I'm going to be like really, um, really like out there and really outgoing. Like I'm quite outgoing. Like I'm yeah. not a shy person. No. Like, as you've seen, I like met you like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a shy person, but I think they think I'm going to be really rowdy. Mm. But I'm just not like that. Like mm. I'm quite like I'm like quite reserved, and I'll sit and like judge people from afar. But I'm not going to be like up in people's faces. Being yeah. Like, and I think they think I'm going to be like really feisty, and that's just like not who I am. Uh, I saw um, an article. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I've got it up here actually. Um, it's it is literally the most brain dead article ever. I just googled your name. Mm-hmm. Um, don't uh, worry, I do it every morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, I saw an article from The Sun that, uh-huh. that that's Classic. entitled, um, yeah, fucking the pinnacle of um, news articles. And it says, Sham, Sham... Champagne super something. Sh- champagne, champagne, yeah, I was trying to work out what it says. Sham, I can read, I promise. <laughs> 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 Champagne super... <laughs> <laughs> champagne super kings. Um, Anais Gallagher smokes a cigarette oh, as yeah. she enjoys lunch with a male pal. And then it goes on to say, Oasis baby puffs away and looks the spitting image of her father Noel during lunch meeting with rumoured boyfriend in posh area of London. And then that's the photo they've used. Homeless person. <laughs> it's bad. Well, you said you, it, like, not me. It's it's awful. For like context, I was really hungover, and I was like, getting... you said you didn't drink, you fucking liar. No, but I like don't like I don't go out on like you know yeah. crazy. I don't binge drink. But yeah. I was like, you I don't was... do heroin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean partially. <laughs> I um I had been out the night before for that one, and I like, was gonna go. I was going to get breakfast. Yeah, and I was like sat outside because I was like too hungover to be indoors in a sweaty room. So I'm like sat outside and like having smoking while having my breakfast. And I didn't obviously notice when I get home and like five hours later I see that and I'm like, why? Do you know what? I leave the house 90% of the time looking fucking amazing. <laughs> and then like the 2% of the time that I leave the house looking homeless, yeah, they that's seem when to they be get, there. Yeah. That, yeah. That's what I was going to say. I wasn't bringing this up to be like a Piers Morgan, like why were you smoking cigarettes? Like I was just, why? <laughs> but why are you smoking cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't get, why do you think, and I'm not trying to, disrespect you yeah of course why are they interested why do they care yeah mm. i know i i i 100 agree the amount of times i've like posted like reposted articles and been like there are so much better things to write about than yeah. me but i think it's because there's this like whole obsession with like millennials now mm. and that's who they get a lot of interest from and if they can find a young girl mm. who's you know, got like, you know, a social presence, mm. if you want to say that. And also I've got a dad that people are interested in. That is like double clickbait. Yeah. Because that's people being like, oh, we follow Ines on Instagram. She's cool. And then that's like another generation being like, oh my God, that's Noel's daughter. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like the little perfect box gift. I'm like doing, I'm a little bit interesting. I've like got a social media following. I'm like, but then to top it all off, like I come from a family that people are really interested. Also, I guarantee at the bottom of that article, there'll be another article about my dad that they're just trying to attach it to. Oh, you know, really? They're just yeah. trying to be like, this is him. Then you can also read what Noel did this week. Right. Yeah. So I think that's why it's, but I, I've always been confused why they care. It, mm. it, it's weird because it's this article's quite, passive aggressive in terms of like yeah. they're trying to make it out like are oh, they just reporting on something that's happening but they're kind of going look at her she's smoking cigarettes yeah. she's 17 like yeah. what is she doing like mm-hmm. she's she's dressed like this her hair's not done like yeah, it was but, a... but they're but they're trying <laughs> to be <laughs> they're trying to be <laughs> nice, tr- nice about they it they do the daily mail do that as well they're like <laughs> she came out looking tired but at least she had a smile on her face <laughs> wow. it's like you're like fuck off <laughs> yeah i'm like oh shit <laughs> yeah. uh, do you Obviously not you, here you haven't, but do you clock the paparazzi sometimes? Never. Sometime? Never. 
I've never seen paps in my life and like, I've had so many pictures taken. No of me. way. So funny story. I was in Venice a couple months ago with my boyfriend and we weren't staying, you know, we didn't, it was too, like, it didn't want to spend loads of money getting a hotel in, like in the middle of Venice. So we like got an Airbnb like right on the outskirts. Cause we were also like not, we were going to like just chill out for a weekend yeah. and we went and we were in this tiny little square. And I mean like only locals. And like we went in basically like pajamas and like jackets to like eat pizza mm. at like it was so late at night, it was like 11. Mm. And then we like get home and then like on the train in the morning when I was going to the airport, I like my mum sends me this article and it's like somebody had pat me in Venice in this like non-touristy location eating pizza and i was like how like how did one how do they no paps would have been there just taking photos because nobody lives there yeah. so how did they know i was there i also was only there for like 25 minutes to like get in to take those pictures and like i don't find it weird but my boyfriend finds it so weird and i feel bad that i'm subjecting him to a lifestyle that he has not chosen for himself he's yeah. like been like i want to be behind the camera yeah and i'm like kind of pushing him in it like our first it's my fault, but one of our first, our second date, I took him to an event with me. And it was like, it wasn't an event, it was like a dinner party and I had to bring a plus one. And I like told him I was going to see him. So I was like, well, I can't see you, but you can come to this dinner with me. And he yeah. was like, fine. So we came and going, getting there, it was fine because he like turned up by himself and then I arrived. And then when we left, it was like crazy. It was like a whole wall of flashing cameras. I got in the car, they were like sticking the cameras in the car windows. Like he couldn't like, focus on where we were driving kind of thing and then he drove away and it was like my second date with him i didn't know and i literally to be like it's not like this all the time i promise and like yeah. he's clearly thinking like because my boyfriend's very level-headed he's like who the fuck are you you're somebody's kid like <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. he's like i don't even want to go out for dinner with your yeah. dad like yeah, and yeah. i was like then i he was like oh i just don't know if like this is for me and i was really? like it's just because it's hard as well because it's like yeah. if you haven't chosen something yeah and like we didn't meet like via social media like, we met in person we like bumped into each other and that's how we met so he like had no idea really he just like liked me as a person and then kind of like found that out right so i think it was like more difficult for him as well because he was like oh my god this is crazy and i don't really want this in my life yeah and so i had to try and be like yeah i know it's annoying because it comes with it and, yeah. People yeah. Have been, and also i think he finds it annoying because like he constantly gets asked about my dad as well like he'll go to work and people be like oh you know you know, what's Noel like? Have you met Noel? Is he cool? And he's like, I don't know. Like, yeah. you know, he's my, my girlfriend's dad. Like, I don't exactly like hang out with him. Yeah. So I yeah. think he finds that like, it's so weird for him as well that like people know his business because he's like, also is like, a bit, <coughs> he's older than me. He like, you know, it's nearly in his like 30. So he doesn't really like use social media the way that my generation do. Like yeah. he kind of posts a few things like, you know, my godson was born, that kind of thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. So like, yeah. I think he finds it weird that people know his life through following me they're like oh so you went out for dinner the other day kind of thing and yeah. he's yeah. like what the fuck yeah <laughs> how was your trip in venice and he's like how do people know this stuff how long have you been with him now a year right so do you think it, it, it must be a little bit more normal for him now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so how, how's he how's he dealing with it like is, i think good does he get on with your dad then ultimately? yeah he i does. mean they haven't met that many times i think like three or four times they've met. i think because my dad's really busy he's also on tour the times so he's not in the country yeah but I think that they do get on. I yeah. mean, as well as he can get on with a parent, you know. So like they get on. He I think he find he still finds it weird. He finds it weird that he like he once which really angered me and it was like one of our first ever fights we got into is he went to a shoot one day to like film some who's on it was that was he was on a Jess Glynn music video. Mm. And like they were talking about influencers and stuff. And somebody started talking about me, not knowing that I was his he was my boyfriend and they were like really like chatting shit about me but not in a like mean way in a like disgusting perverted way being like oh she'd get it kind of thing and he was sat there like he's so professional that they were above him so he was like i'm not gonna say anything yeah because i don't this is you know it's not their fault they don't know who i am and like i'm sure people talk about influencers like that all the time so he didn't want to say anything and then he had to like step out and he called me and i like started screaming i was like oh, you've got the fucking call sheet send me his name now and he was like he was like no i'm gonna get fired and i was like no i want his fucking name and he was like he was like no you need to calm down and it's funny because he handled it more professionally than me even though i've been in this mm. industry my whole life yeah so yeah. i think he kind of was like you know dealt with it do you think if you had met kit and he was like he may be, but like mm. he acted like a proper super fan. Mm -hmm. Would that have been a no-go? I mean, it's a really fine line because I don't want to be with someone who's a super fan. 
but I also can't be with somebody who doesn't really like appreciate my dad. Right. Like I find it awkward if I like was like dating someone and I like I have been and I've brought them to my dad's concerts and they don't know any words. I'm like, yeah. it's a bit awkward for you to be here. Like yeah. I don't really want yeah. you. Like you know, like I'd want somebody to be aware like of it. Because like, in that in that context, it's kind of like if I just brought someone along to see my dad do his job. Like, yeah, and, exactly. And they just see him putting something on the factory, and I'm like. Do you like that, dear? Don't you like that? <laughs> yeah. They're like, I don't give a fuck. It's yeah. like, you, you, they have, you, yeah, I get what you mean. Like, like they've I, got. They also have to have, like, our family so complicated. Mm. They also have to have some some sort of context of, like, mm. who he is. I don't want them to be, but, like. How can they not? Exactly. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. like, Do you... he, he tried to say that he knew nothing really about my dad, but I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, what do you do? That, that's, that's the <laughs> thing. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I think I'm a humble guy. I yeah. think you're, you're fairly humble as well. Um, we. We're aware, although we don't like the idea of walking around going, oh, I'm famous, yeah. I'm famous. We're aware that there is fame attached to what we do. Yeah. There's a lot of eyes on, on what I do. People ask me for selfies. Yeah. It, it's a regular occurrence, mm-hmm. yeah. But one thing, and I don't, and I'm not saying that I want people to come up to me and be like, oh my God, Jack, mate, yeah. like that. I don't, I don't care. Yeah, I'll yeah, speak yeah. to you either way. But one of the things that makes me laugh so much is when somebody who clearly knows who you are yeah. are yeah. trying to pretend they don't know who you yeah, are because yeah. they think it's going to make them seem less cool. Yeah. That makes them seem less cool. Yeah, I've, yeah, ha- yeah. I've had people come up to me who are like big, big uh, yeah. fans of the channel and that's fine because they can, sometimes they can be proper laid back about it like mm. I love what you do yeah. quote some of the most obscure references ever and then sort of part ways yeah. that's great but it's the ones that come over and go um, yeah so I, I don't really watch your channel um, but my brother watches them and I was just wondering can I get a picture because I want to send it to him it's yeah like, it's like no oh, for yeah. fuck's sake yeah. like why you got to act all, all yeah. cool like that so I bet on the uh, when I imagine you going through your school life I imagine yeah. people like kind of sucking up to you and, and because of your surname but I bet you got the other flip of the coin as well kind of yeah. like oh no I don't really know anything, yeah, anything exactly. about it yeah. and like people kind of being like yeah I don't really listen to that kind of music and I'm like shut the fuck up you've heard Wonderwall <laughs> yeah I was like, going to say who the fuck has and heard yeah. Wonderwall. Yeah. Like, 100%. Ha, ha, talking of Wonderwall, how do you feel when you're out and about and you just hear the cheer? Uh, obviously, you're so y- used to it now. A lot. But But is, is that, do you ever have to try and remove yourself from the norm and no, think it, how fucking weird that must no, be? No, it's weird because it's like, it's such a big song to people. Yeah. Like, mm. it was Kit's, like, song with his ex girlfriend. Like, joking. you know what I mean? Like, they, like, heard it. Like, they were, like, you know, they had a Super job together fan. and it would, like, always play. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. then it was like, so I forget that it, like, is such a staple. I think it was like last year it was voted the most British song of all time. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, me. it's like such a, I forget that like to them, it's like everybody, it's kind of nice as well that like everybody has a moment that they like the song yeah. and they, like, it reminds them of their mates or like, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And like, to me, I'm like, you know, it's like my dad wrote the song and it's a great song and I get that, but like I've heard it so well, many times. Yeah. So but, many times. Yeah. Can I just, you, you just reminded me because you said yeah. it's a moment at my 18th birthday. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got up on stage and I sung Wonderwall and yeah. I was smashed. Yeah. yeah. And it was a hit. Yeah. Like, I, I, the crowd I, loved it. See, I, like, it's, I, it's just one of them songs. I just remembered. Fucking hell. But I mean, like, that I, was a good night. That I, was. I just, <laughs> a week ago, I went to my uncle's wedding and um he had his first dance with his with his lady his new mm-hmm. wife and then he and then just after that, he got his boys around him and then they all just sang that. Yeah. yeah. So, it's, exactly. so it's yeah. like, it is, it, it's weird because you must be so used to it. But to me, that seems yeah. mental because that is that is the most common song. It's it's yeah. a, it, it it got memed as well a couple of years ago, yeah. didn't it? Like the the play Wonderwall thing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Everyone it's like just pass me a guitar, I'll play Wonderwall. Yeah. Kind of thing. yeah, yeah. Like it is, it's the song. Yeah. It's also the first song everybody learns to play on the guitar. So yeah. it's like it's funny to me that like my dad wrote that. That's, <laughs> that's like that him. Is, that is fucking you know. Cool. Yeah. But it's it's you know it's people also find it weird. I listen to my dad's music and I think people find yeah. that strange as well. Like I would be at school, you know, like with my headphones in, yeah. walking to school and people would see my phone they'd see that I'd be listening to it and they're like, they find that weird. Yeah. But it's like, why is that strange? Like if I actually yeah. ask them to think about it, yeah. I'm like, he's a musician, he Just makes good music. good music. Like yeah. I listen to his music like you would, yeah. but people find it weird. And also obviously kids at school being like, you're only listening to that because you want people to like see you listening to your dad's uh, music. I think you've had a whole yeah. lifetime of that. Yeah, you don't I'm need like, to push yeah. it anymore. I'm like, yeah. no, what I'm really doing is getting the streams up so I can get a car. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if, uh, I don't know if I want to say if you had to, what do you prefer? The Oasis or the solo stuff? I think they're both different for different things. Like Absolutely. Oasis will always like, kind of like bring me that sort of like joy of like oh my god such great times Mm -hmm. and like the music is phenomenal but at the moment i prefer his solo stuff mainly because like 
it's it's like really cool and yeah. like the stuff he's doing is really interesting plus i hear it all the time now of course and also i know that it the songs i can see the what my dad puts into them mm-hmm. and like it makes him so happy to make the stuff he's making oh, and cool. like it's kind of got like a funky 80s vibe at the moment and that's yeah. like really cool on the flip oh, side of thing. of asking you about whether or not it pisses you off having to speak about your dad all the yeah. time does it ever worry him or mm-hmm. make him slightly anxious that you're going to be off doing your own things mm-hmm. like this we could now like nail you with any question oh yeah no i shit myself about that all the time i'm so scared that i'm gonna say something that's gonna like you know that's the thing i had to think about as a child a lot was like my actions don't even reflect on me they reflect on my parents and like them and like i could say something right now that would like i'd forget that i shouldn't say yeah i'm also very very trusting right so i could like have a conversation with the outside when we're not on this and like tell you something that you shouldn't know and then like i just trust you because i'm like oh he wouldn't say anything but i don't really know that no yeah so i like I think it probably does worry him. Right. I think it probably, he would be like, oh my God, what's she going to say? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I can't like lock myself in a box because people are going to ask me about Oasis. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what did he think about the infamous photo of you dressing up as him? He Just, loved it. Did he? Yeah. He loved it. Did it tell, tell people about that. So my friend, uh, my friend Tom from Blossoms, he was having a birthday party and it was like dressing up as like uh, rock stars and pop stars. That was the theme. And I was like really like struggling to try and find who I was going to dress up with. And my best friend Scarlett was like, well, you already have your dad's face. (laughs) So you just should just roll with it. And I was like, yeah, "Yeah, yeah. do you know what? I'll do it. And also like, I'm that sort of person that can have a laugh about it. Like I know there'd be thousands of people out there being like, of course she dressed up as her dad trying to get likes. And I'm like, it's fucking hilarious. Like if I can't sit there and laugh and be like, look at me, I'm dressing up as my dad. I'm a brat. Like what can you do? Like what am I going to... So I was like, it's hilarious. People are going to find it funny. I found it funny. All my friends found it funny. It was funny. It was was So like, I mean like, you know that's the, that's like if you even like if you go on my Instagram you'll see like a selfie of me looking nice and then me dressed up as my dad and like looking awful I'm yeah. like that's who I am and like it perfectly summed up yeah. like me as a person like just like trying to have a laugh about it yeah but I think yeah he saw it I like was I well I asked him if I could borrow his jacket and he said he didn't know where it was anymore so I had to find a friend who I had the same jacket right and I sent him the photo and he like replied being like it's so funny with loads of laughing faces and then he replied being like I was wearing black trainers <laughs> <laughs> and I was like oh quality I didn't have any black trainers he was like yeah you, you did say earlier he was very critical yeah I didn't realize to that degree yeah. Some, a fancy dress but then if you're representing the man at least you know, somebody was like somebody was like to him I was out with him the other night and somebody I, I told him that they said that and they were like to my dad how do you remember what color train is he wearing? He goes, well, it was a very famous picture. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, fair enough. Yeah. The, wow. I, I, I wasn't going to bring this up, but when I first went to Manchester, mm-hmm. I, I think, the, right, how do I crow by this in? Right, so the question I'll go with before I tell you my story is, what do you think about middle-aged men like yeah. really thinking that they're, they're, <laughs> they are... A Gallagher, like, because do, do you, do, can you spot that? Like, oh, when yeah. You, because when my, I, like, my best friend, we'll, we have, like, a game that we play. It's, like, we'll be in Starbucks or something, and we'll be, like, spot the Gallagher fan. They all look the same. They yeah. dress the same. They have the same bloody haircut. Yeah. And, yeah, like, yeah. my, we'll be, like, do you, I'll, like, say, we'll walk down the street, and I'll be, like, do you reckon he listens to Oasis? Like, as a, but, like, to me, it's funny because... It's almost like a caricature. Like they dress to my dad to a level that he doesn't even look like that. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I find funny. That's what they do with proper famous people, though. They they like accentu- accentuate, accentuate, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, yeah, like certain parts of their personality in their image, don't they? Yeah. So they really heighten it. When I went to Manchester, I think I've told this on, on the p- podcast before. Yeah, okay. I shit you not, right? This the, the very I'd never been there before, mm. and the only thing I knew about it was Oasis, right? Yeah. And. Uh, and I came out of the train station and there was like this tram tram line going down and I and I was walking down and my phone had died on the on the train. So I, I just thought, right, I'm just going to ask someone the time. I turned around and for a second, I thought it was either Liam or Noel because yeah. I was like, w- 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 just for a second, I was <laughs> yeah. like, it looked exact, had the green coat on yeah. and I shit you not, I went, excuse me, have you got any? He went, fuck off. And, just, <laughs> and, I, and I was like, and I thought, I'm in Manchester. <laughs> this is amazing. Literally. <laughs> it didn't take any offence yeah, to it. I was just yeah. like, I want to live here now. <laughs> um, I think I'll be a fool not to ask you this question, yeah. but you can. You don't have to answer. No, yeah. Do you think they'll ever get the band back together? No. No. no I know it's what people don't want to hear. And I also wish I could be more mysterious. Like, well, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But so personally, you, yeah. no, I don't think they will. Right. Fair enough. There we go. And And... Yeah, yeah. 
We want to finish on 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 a, on a silly question because we, oh, we yeah. we've got we've got a segment that we've we've recently started doing where um where we just ask a shit question at the oh, end and see and see what happens. Really, my just kind a of vibe. Shit question. And, and I was watching um I was watching a guy called Simon Minter who does a podcast called the What's Good Podcast, mm-hmm. very good podcast, and he did an episode in which he asks um. What's the word? Theoretical questions, yeah. things that will never happen, yeah. right? I like and, that. I will and, ask as many as you want. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me try and remember what this one, right? So, let's get this right. So you're walking down the street. Yeah, okay, I'm picturing it. And you you bump into a wizard. Oh, right? okay. Okay. And the wizard says, "If you give me a pound, mm-hmm. I can make you somewhat more attractive." Right? <laughs> right, right, somewhat. Right, no. If you give me money, I can make you somewhat more attractive. But yeah. he doesn't tell you how much money equates to how, uh, how in your right, uh, okay. how how yeah, yeah, more yeah. attractive you're getting. Uh, he goes, "I'll show you," and he 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 says, "Right, this guy over here is just giving me a pound." He clicks his fingers, and there's no there's hardly any difference, right? Because right. it's only a quid. Like it might be like a hair different or whatever. Yeah. But you know that that person's slightly more attractive, and you yeah. can't work out how. However, however much money you give this wizard. You say you give him a grand, yeah, and you think that's fucking great. I'd like to give him another grand. You can't. You can only give him one set right. sum, one yeah. and you don't know how much. Like you don't know how much you're going to change. Yeah. yeah, how much would you be prepared to give him based on the fact that one pound's already done something to that person, but you can't work out what it is. Really? But whatever your whatever your insecurities are. Like you might think your teeth are bad, your eyes are bad, whatever. You don't know how much is going to fix it. But what right. are you going to do? This is your one opportunity to give the wizard some money. How much would I be willing to pay? Yeah. An embarrassing amount. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think I would. I mean, like, I mean, if it was a genuine wizard, not just some guy <laughs> on the street, like, you know, like, long yeah, doubt being yeah. like, I'll make you more attractive. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, yeah. Then I'd be like, right, here you go. Yeah. No, if it was like, if we're talking like genuinely, oh, I don't know, maybe like £5,000. Would you? Yeah. What would you do? But I don't know because I'd be scared that I, then I'd get like go like too far the other way and then I'd like like look like Kylie Jenner or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, True. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. What What would you, What would you? Chucking two and a half. See what happens. Would you? Yeah. Two, two pound fifty. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Time to run. I'll, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. This is one that I made up a while ago. It's a bit dark. But oh. um, so I honestly thought he was going to ask you what your favourite crisps was. I won't lie. So I, did, I oh, won't expect this. Are they? Oh. Yeah. Really? Oh, meal deal question. <laughs> What's your favourite meal deal? Have we asked you? We haven't asked no. you. Have we? What's your, do, do you? You must get meal deals. Yeah. Well, sometimes, all the time. Yeah. What's yeah. your fa- What's your favourite? What's your go to? Including store. Oh, so like Tesco. Yeah. Yeah. Go to. Your waitrose, aren't you? At home? Yeah. No. People always ask me this question. <laughs> my parents buy Waitrose food. Right. I don't. I like. I think the closest one to me is Aldi. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what I go to. Aldi's always... underrated, though. It's underrated. It's not mm. bad. No, yeah, but I really... Do you know what I don't like? This is going to make me sound so posh as well. I really hate home brand shit. Do you? It just freaks me out. Right. I know it doesn't taste any different, but I just cannot, like... I cannot buy, like orange covered chocolate cakes that are meant to be Jaffa cakes you know what I mean <laughs> that is so weird that out of all of the things because that is exactly what I was then going to say I was then going to say because Fiona brought some fake Jaffa cakes <laughs> no, and no, I was like aren't they? Yeah. No, never no, no these ones were circle oh, right yeah, but I, I tried them <laughs> They were fine, and I still hated them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Is it not Jaffa cake? Yeah. 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 Oh, so, meal deal, I'd probably go right. for. See, I'm vegetarian, though, and I really oh. hate, like, plain sandwiches. Right. So, I don't really know how meal deals work in that capacity, because I can never find something of the main meal that I like. Yeah. So, mm. I'd, like, if I could, I'd probably just get, like, five packets of crisps. <laughs> Fair <laughs> and enough. And then, like, the, and then maybe a bottle of water to try and, like, stop myself getting a heart attack. So, you're going quavers? I'm, yeah, they might. Well, do you know what? I'm a crisp fanatic. Somebody asked me the other day, if my, like, death row meal, what would it be? And I was, like, qua- like crisps for each. Thing. I <laughs> fucking am obsessed with crisps. What more so than chocolate? Yeah, I know. I'm not a sweet person. Are you not? No, I'm a savory all the way. I could like, I could probably eat my own body weight in cheese, and mm. like crisps, and like, like a good cheese board. Mm. I'm a crisp fan. I, I, That's another question for you. you. Should ask people their death row meal. Like, what would you oh, eat before you died? Question. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to be a permanent? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I have a lot of free time. So. Yeah. I have. Are you a monster munch girl? Yeah. What but one? this is like re- this is also a really like controversial question, isn't it? I like the roast beef one. I hate. That's the pa- fine. I. Ha- <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we, we won't judge you. It's a safe <laughs> space. Yeah. No. That. that yeah, end so the podcast. In, yeah. Do you know what? I'll do it in a like. So number one. Yeah. Roast beef. Number two. Pickled onion. I actually 
actually do really like pickled onion, but right. it's just like a little bit worse. Right. Flaming Hot can honestly go put itself in the bin. I'm off. <laughs> that, Is that, that your favourite one? Yeah. There's something wrong with you. It's because you're ginger. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. R- Red Hot Monster Munch first. Yeah. It's because I'm fiery, actually. <laughs> 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 right, yeah. Number two, um, roast beef. Number three, pickled onion can do one. Really? Oh. I don't mind pickled onion. I feel like that's like the OG, isn't it? Mm. It is. It is. Yeah. But what somebody said to me once, what did they say now? The 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 crisps are the, are the feet, aren't they? Yeah. It's, no, they're not feet. They're all monsters. I told my friend this the other day. So actually, so you know oh, how it's I like... they're paws. No, okay, so you know how... <laughs> right, crisp chat. <laughs> like, you know how it's like a circle? Yeah. And then like four lines like this? Yeah. It's actually like meant to be this way, and it's like oh. two legs and an, and two arms. No. Yes, it is. Google it. Oh my god! There you go. It's you meant to be the monster, new... but the thing is, I think I think like <laughs> when they first came out in the seventies, I think that probably was really impressive. Right. And now we're like probably think they could three D print them or something. Yeah. So we're like that doesn't look like a monster, but like then for something to be like a little bit shaped, yeah. was probably quite impressive. They just look like little squids. I mean, they're which, brilliant. Which, they're also which, quite hard to eat, though, aren't they? They're big. Yeah. yeah. They are big. cut the roof of your mouth. Yeah, they do. They're quite sore. Mm. Do you like McCoys? Yeah, I don't. I don't mind McCoys. Yeah. Bit of Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar is like my other favourite. That's like my go-to, like normal flavour. Yeah, that's quality. Crisp. That's Salt quality. and vinegar Pringles, like, fucking, they're amazing. Cool. Yeah. They're like mm. so salt and vinegar. I, on my flight to Japan last week, I bought three things of salt and vinegar Pringles and ate them and I didn't eat any plain food. Three tubs? Yeah. What, yeah, the, the yeah, big the, ones? No, the plain ones are like that. No, no. Yeah, the, no. Not the plain ones, the normal size Oh, ones. shit. They sell them on the plane? No, I oh, bought them bought in WH Smith before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Random, but... Just purely because you yeah. said WH Smiths. When I went to Heathrow last year, they had five WH Smiths in Heathrow. Right. Separate ones. Stupid. But I know... Like, to be fair, like probably one is like more books, and then the other one is like a mm. smaller one. Then one is like a big one. Yeah. Oh, this right is me. Then. This is me defending. <laughs> 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 Jesus, they do Not sponsored, deals. I swear. Yeah, they do. do yeah, they. They, yeah. they do quite Never a good experience. chicken and bacon. Sorry, I know you're a veggie. No, but. they do. They like they have really good ones, and they also have like a lot more than like just sandwich and stuff. They have like little like pasty kind of things as well. They have like loads of stuff. They also have a cheese and crackers thing that you can buy as well. Really? Really? No. They have like a little box. You know when you were younger, you used to get Lunchables? Yeah. They basically are adult versions of that. They're like five crackers, five slices of cheddar I cheese. Got, I got Lunchables last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, you would have been an amazing addition on the Meal Deal podcast for yeah. a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, no. I, th- I think at one point we should do a Christmas special where we get so many guests in and just all talk about food. Well, yeah. I'll, be I'll be there. You yeah. should be back for that. What's next for Anais Gallagher? So, uh, university. Yep. Uh, I'm doing a degree in photography, not because I particularly want to, but just so nobody can say to me, you only did that because of your dad. So I can be like, actually, I want to be a photographer and I went to university and got a degree, yeah. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so university, yeah. taking lots of pictures, mm-hmm. sort of hopefully touring with my dad a bit more. Maybe I'll start a YouTube channel. Maybe I'll become a permanent host on this. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll take your job. Ooh. No, you can have Stevie's. It's fine. <laughs> you're in his it's chair, fine. so you're yeah. halfway there. Yeah. There we go. Um, not that these fuckers will, but if they want to follow you, where can they go? Go to Instagram. Uh, my name is Gallagher Aeneas because putting Gallagher first gets you more followers. Wow. Hey, there you go. Switched there you on. go. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you. It's been, it's been great. I'm, uh, I've really enjoyed that. I'm glad quality. you weren't a cunt. Oh, thanks for you worried. Yeah, so really. yeah, a little bit, but no, nah, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Jordan, I'm glad you are. A... No, you're right, Do you know right, what? I'm, I'm just saying, I'm really surprised with you. You're exactly how I imagined you to be. Really? Yeah, your portrayal online is exactly... People who are listening, he's exactly the same. <laughs> that might not be necessarily a good thing. Because a lot of people... You don't like you. Yeah, yeah, a lot I'm of people a think But I'm like, I thought that, like, but you're exactly who you are online, really? which is really nice to see. Because, oh. like, some of these YouTubers that I've been friends with, they're, like, so happily happy and stuff online, and then you see them in real life and they're really boring and it's like, oh. Yeah. But you're really, you're exactly the same. Fair enough. That's, that's nice. Although I am kind of on camera now. So it's good. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I get out of there, I'm going to be like, go on and fuck off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Nice one, guys. Uh, this has been Jack Makes Happy Hour. We'll see you in a few days. Bye. Bye. <laughs>